Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Hannah Tiffin. She's with the University of Kentucky Veterinary and Entomologist there. You're a brand new specialist, I've just started in August, but you're already tackling some of these issues that we're seeing in Kentucky, and one of those is the Asian longhorn tick. Yeah, so this tick can actually cause a lot of problems, especially for our cows in Kentucky. So tell me a little bit about what this tick is, what it looks like. This tick, unfortunately, is kind of bland looking, so that's one of the key characteristics. It's uh, brown and bland, doesn't have any kind of decorations like our other ticks. That's kind of how you'd find it or uh, identify it. It's found on a bunch of different critters, so it can feed on a whole host of different species, including people, but what we worry about it most with is cattle, because it can cause some, some pretty serious things for cattle. Okay, and so what habitat do we normally find them in? It's similar to our other ticks, or? It would not be found as frequently in forested areas like we think of with a black-legged tick that transmits Lyme disease. Um, this tick is more often going to be found in kind of wider open spaces, so pastures, um, taller grasses, places where cattle like to be. It was first identified in the U.S. in 2019. Um, turned out we had it for a couple years before that and it was misidentified because it's a bland looking tick. Um, but it hasn't been around that long. And so we're kind of just learning where it's at at this point and what all it can do to our animals and, um, and how to control it. And so as far as Kentucky goes, where has this tick been found? So it's been found in a couple different places in Kentucky. Um, we have a couple counties up in North Central, like Boone County. Um, Boone County was found on a cow. We have a couple other counties up in the central area, kind of around Lexington. Mm -hmm. um, but on the, in those counties, it's only been found on people and dogs, not on cows. Um, and then we have some counties out in eastern Kentucky where it's been found. Um, that's primarily from wildlife detections. And then what we worry about is we've found it here um, or around this area in southern western Kentucky. So in Metcalf and Barron County it has been detected as present. For cattle specifically, it can transmit a disease called tyleriosis, and tyleriosis can be really bad news. Um, it's not treatable, it can kill a cow. Um, a cow that survives it can become a carrier for life, so it could infect other cows um, if that tick is present on the property and picks it up from the infected cow, transmits it to the other cows. Um, so it's, it's really bad news. The tick also has this kind of weird behavior where it doesn't need a male in order to reproduce. Um, so it can reproduce very quickly and get into really, really high infestations really fast. And so we've had cattle deaths in Kentucky from this tick, both through tyleriosis, so the disease that it causes, um, but also just because of high infestations on the cow. So just high enough tick burdens that it overwhelms the cow's immune system essentially. Is there a time frame or do they um, only come out in the summer months or is it spring through fall? Since it is a newer tick, we don't have a lot of data on it, especially in Kentucky. Um, but I would say generally it's going to follow similar patterns as other ticks. So it's going to be more present in the warmer months like spring, summer, into the fall. Um, typically we don't have a cold winter, so that um, means that we might have tick season for longer than in more of the, the northern states. Absolutely. And so if people maybe see a really bland tick, is it important to get that tick identified and let people know that they have found it in that area? Yeah. So it's really important to get the tick identified and make sure that um, it is an Asian longhorn tick because the USDA is still doing surveillance, still trying to figure out where this tick is so that we can have um, proper prevention and proper control efforts. So if you find a tick that looks like an Asian longhorn tick, so it's, it's brown, it doesn't have any kind of decoration on it, um, it's really bland. It might even have these weird little squiggly lines kind of around its, its bottom part. Um, it might be an Asian longhorn tick and you can reach out to me or others at University of Kentucky and we can get that identified for you. Okay, and do we have information or resources at the university about, about this tick? Yeah, so University of Kentucky does have a couple um, fact sheets that are available for that. And uh, hopefully as part of my position here, I'll be creating some more as well. All right, well certainly appreciate the information. And if you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.